It's called a silent killer. Nearly half of all adults in the U.S. have it, and many don't even know it. We are talking about high blood pressure. Most of the time, there are few, if any, symptoms. For some, lifestyle changes like exercising, eating right, not smoking can help. Medications are, of course, also available, but some of those come with side effects that some people just can't tolerate. Well, now a new FDA-approved procedure to lower blood pressure without any side effects. Billy Mason's farm has been flourishing for 17 years. I am an organic grower. I specialize in heirloom tomatoes. That I'm, I own the domain tomatogod.com. Not only enjoying the fruits of his labor outside, but inside as well. I love life and, you know, creating and growing things. Nothing stops Billy, even though he's lived with hypertension for the last 30 years. At times, he was taking up to eight medications. And then I had a blood pressure event that sent me to the ER. Now people like Billy, who are either medication resistant or just tired of the side effects, have another option, renal denervation. In the people with uh, high blood pressure, often there's a lot of nerve uh, traffic between the brain and the kidney. The brain is telling the kidney to hold on to sodium. The kidney is telling the brain to cause vasoconstriction. It's like two teenagers going at it. Renal denervation works by modifying the nerve transmission between the head and the kidney. We put a catheter in through the femoral artery in the leg, go up to the kidney, modify the nerves on both sides. Then ultrasound is used to disrupt the function of these nerves. And over time, those nerves... Uh, the traffic is slowed down, blood pressure comes down. It worked for Billy. I'm 73, still kicking it. His blood pressure is lower, and he's back getting his hands dirty, doing the thing he loves. My guest room is now an Airbnb. <laughs> My guest room is now an Airbnb. So two renal nerve denervation devices have been approved by the FDA. After the procedure, everything is removed, and the patient actually goes home the very same day. Side effects do include a small risk of infection from just inserting that catheter, but there is no damage to the artery, and the risk there is less than just 1%.